Hey listeners, I wanted to come on here a minute and talk about this chocolate that I saw, um, or actually I heard, sorry about the chair, freaking, um, I had the opportunity to try some of these champagne truffles and I heard that they were on the Oprah show and whoever was raving about how amazing they were, but, uh, so I had the opportunity to try them and I just wanted to talk about them and compare them to some other chocolates. Um, they're kind of old and I've been meaning to do a review on them for a while. So the ones that I have are kind of dried out. So sorry, but you can go <laughs> online and, sorry, you can go online and um, see what they really look like. But this is a pack of 16 and I got the mix of uh, dark chocolate and milk chocolate, I think it is. The outside is like cocoa, half of them are cocoa, half of them are powdered sugar. And I totally macerated them, chopping them in half so that I could show you the inside. But uh, yeah, so they're old, like I said. But And the ganache, I guess, is all dried up. Where's the camera? There it is. <clears throat> it's all dried up and it's like coming away. So this is not what they look like when you get them, just so you know. They're actually very delicious and smooth and great uh, chocolate. It's a great chocolate and the company boasts, I'm talking really fast, I'm sorry, okay. Um, so I don't even know how to say this, it's like too sure, touche, depends on uh, what language that is. Is it German or is it uh, French or I mean, it's Swiss. This is a Swiss company. The company comes from over, like near the Swiss Alps. I did a little reading on these these chocolate, these two chocolate places. Um, this one is Swiss chocolate. This package was fifty some dollars, uh, but I worked I worked it out, and it's like three and a half dollars per chocolate. That's like I'm thinking that's probably why um, there's so much because they, okay, sorry, I skipped a part. They ship them from Switzerland. They don't make them here. That's probably why they cost so much, I would guess. So this is the champagne truffles. I also got, I believe these are lemon and they package it so cute. And I tried to redo it. This is not actually how they packaged it, but it's so cute. And I think these are the lemon truffles. Wow, I package it and I can't even get it back. So it's, yeah, they wrap it in this cute little ribbon and box. I, yeah, I think these are the lemon truffles and I hope you can hear me over this packaging. Uh, lemon is lemon is one of my favorite dessert flavors. Lemon cookies, lemon cake. I can totally get in trouble. So these are old, totally wasted. Uh, the champagne truffles I dropped on the floor, like I knocked them over, and they rolled all over the floor. So those went to waste, cause uh, yeah, I can't. Anyways. Uh, I think this is the lemon and I just was saving them and forgot about them. It's such a shame. I'm such a dork, but so wasteful. But they're, I mean, they were, they're really good, but I want to talk about some other chocolates. So there are other uh, places you can get chocolate, really good chocolate. This is Swiss chocolate. I'm sure it's from Swiss. It's about three and a half dollars per piece. That's kind of like if you've got, you know, if you're Oprah, you can afford it, right? But, and it's definitely something to try. And I'm pretty sure they gave us a sample when we were in there. We went to the San Francisco shop um, months ago, obviously, since it's all dried up and old. But I'm uh, pretty sure it was just before Easter. Oh, yeah. And this is September 1st, so yeah, it was just before Easter, so that's how old they are, and I've been hanging out to them so I could talk about them. Hmm. Anyway, uh, <laughs> sample. Oh, let's see, I got something. Oh, I think I got a chocolate because chocolate mint I love also, usually, usually. So they have these bars also. These cute little bar. He's so cute, right? He's so cute. Mint chocolate bar. 
and I've been eating that more than the the rest of the stuff. So, yeah, too sure, too sure, touche. Uh, I don't know how to say that. You probably Google it, and you should definitely read the story and decide for yourself. Um what your favorite chocolate is on your own, but I just want to talk about these. So, I always end up going back to C's. They're, you can read their story online. Also, I guess the original producer, uh, chocolate maker, came from Canada, and her son moved to California. So, this is made here in the U.S., whereas the Toucher, Touche, chocolate is Swiss, and it says it says it's the world's finest chocolate, which makes sense in that it's from Europe and not U.S. So, like, C's is made in the U.S. And I think uh, both companies say that they use the finest quality ingredients with no added anything. So, you taste, you decide. C's, however, made in the U.S., um, it's probably, or generally, about half, it's like maybe a dollar per piece, maybe, depending. These, and I always get the chocolate truffles. Ah! Uh, I love the, their chocolate truffles. My favorite is this butter, oh, excuse me, dropping stuff everywhere. Butter chew. This is still good, because I eat this stuff all the time, which is very bad. Very good, very bad. Chocolate, truffle, what is it? Butter chew, I think it's called, butter chew. I also like the blueberry, but not as much. And then I ate the last, uh, it was like a mocha, no, it was a, it's a coffee flavored truffle. And then also the lemon, the lemon truffle. So I only get the truffles. To me, nuts, adding nuts is like, you can't really get the feel and taste of the chocolate by itself if you got nuts in the way because if you get a bad nut sometimes it's bitter and then it just ruins the whole thing the whole experience so I like truffles nice and smooth no grit natural flavor or seemingly natural flavor um, also there's uh, San Francisco also has Girardelli's and there's they have all these new chocolates like salted they added salt to everything and there's like cherry and there's sorry about this is this is that stress relieving for you should I do that some more right, okay. <laughs> excuse me so they have a new flavor dark cherry dark chocolate excuse me dark chocolate blueberry I need to slow down. I'm rushing. I'm getting sweaty. Sweaty. Um, milk chocolate caramel. I think that's normal. Can you see that? Read that. That's a usual one. Here's the salted dark chocolate with sea salt caramel. I think that one's pretty new. Is that focusing? And then there was some... This bag was like full my kids and I were trying all these different new ones. I think those are the three that are left. But we just got a couple just to try. The It's like sea salt and cherry or something like that. They're like black labels, red labels. So they try to color coordinate it to the flavor. It's kind of fun. But like these are good too, but they're also expensive. And I always, I always go back to C's. Like... I will try all this chocolate, um, like here's a list of chocolates, you know, best, world's best chocolates, and it has, sorry, hang on, one second, um, Godiva, and Ferrero Rocher, you know, like, and I, you have to try them to find your favorite, but I always come back to C's. It's affordable, it's delicious, you can't get away from that it I mean that's what you want in your chocolate right delicious chocolate that's affordable you can get a Hershey's bar you know one pound bar or whatever the giant 
for a dollar, two dollars, but it's got like wax or something, wax or oil or something in it. Do you want to eat that? I mean, if that hits a spot, then go for it. But if you want, if you're conscious of what you're putting in your body and you're, or you're eating it all the time, then you want quality stuff in your body, right? Because otherwise you're going to pay for it later, probably, in medical bills. I'm sorry. Okay. Getting off topic. Yeah. So, Toucher, Toucher, Touche, Ghirardelli, C's, um, they're good, but... And there, there's always, like, if you can afford to try stuff, you should. You should try it, because that's what life's all about. But, like I said, I always go back to C's, because it's, it's consistent. It's consistently delicious. They do get new flavors, seasonal things that you, you know, you got to try those. And they give you free samples, too, when you go in the store. So, I mean, you have to try it to know. And everybody... Everybody's opinion is different, so my favorite is the C's. Like I said, these are fancy. They are... They seem, you know, nice. Um, lush, what's the word I'm looking for? Lush, you know, like you, you... They make you feel like you're indulging yourself, but it's chocolate. In my opinion. It's good, but... Uh, 350 a piece. Uh, that's kind of you know like I can get dinner. I can make dinner for 350. Just saying. You so you want to eat chocolate? What is, like Marie Antoinette eat cake? Just let them eat cake. Yeah, I'm not a queen, so <laughs> I'm gonna eat as best as I can. Quality, I mean, you know. And I'm not lacking right right now, so. Anyways, I think that's all I wanted to say. You should definitely try, though. Okay, I've stopped talking because I'm not a talker, I'm a writer, and sometimes I gotta sit down, and if I took notes, they would not be enough because <laughs> I would have to write the speech what I wanted to say for it to be, you know. Anyways, so this is kind of candid, but uh, I am uh, reading still on SoundCloud. You can come find me, Some Kind of Happiness by Claire Legrand. If you like audiobooks, uh, you can listen to me read that while you're driving or studying or whatever. You know, it's um, it's kind of a neat book. It, it It is, the audience was meant to be like 8 to 12 but that, and my kids are about that age so I'm kind of reading it so that they can listen to me because I read to them to sleep or that's what I like to do I can't always do that though excuse me so I'm recording it um, but yeah come find me and hear the conclusion for that or not Maybe I won't read the conclusion. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Hope you like this video and come back again next time. But for now, go read a book. Bye.